looks like when you travel on the Tokyo subway, you can catch the bullet train, or the Shinkansen train, from Tokyo all the way down to almost the end of the mainland Japan. We're down in Hiroshima now and we're heading back up towards Osaka. So uh, come on along. Here comes the bullet train, the Nozomi train bound for Tokyo. One of the really neat things here in Japan is the availability of public transit, whether that's airline or they do have some ferries. But this particular one, it's dealing with the bullet train. Now the bullet train here in Japan has been around quite some time, but every few years they make improvements in terms of the speed and efficiency of these things. This particular one gets up to about 200 miles per hour. It's the Shinkansen line. It runs north of Tokyo and then all the way down almost to the foot of mainland Japan. We got as far as Hiroshima as you see here in the video. So yeah, come on along and uh, we'll show you some of the little sights. You can procure tickets for the bullet train a couple different ways. One is online. I've done that before in the past, thinking that I was going to save a couple of bucks. It really wasn't the case because I've also gone ahead and purchased tickets at the Tokyo Central Subway line. There's a you'll see a bullet train Shinkansen office there. They have someone who works there who speaks English, so you shouldn't have any problems in terms of procuring tickets. The trains run on a regular schedule, so it's really easy to catch a, a, a seat on the train. As far as costs go, uh, we paid about 80 bucks a head for pretty much transit the whole length of Japan. So it's reasonable for us. You can also buy, uh, I believe they have an extended pass. I forgot how much that costs, but you can just buy point to point tickets and very efficient. Uh, for us, it was less than four hours to go from Tokyo all the way down to Hiroshima, which is a pretty long ride, but being you're on a bullet train, you get there mighty fast. The cars on the bullet train are pretty efficient. The seating looks like coach seats basically on an airline plenty of leg room and plenty of room to store your baggage to include large rolling bags we had a couple of those and you can ride in a couple of different cars that have no reserve seating or you can get reserve seating if you want to make sure you're sitting next to your significant other otherwise like I said just go ahead and just get non-reserve seating and just take first come first serve always seems to be plenty of seats so yeah enjoy the ride Shinkansen Lion to Tokyo. Enjoying some of that snow.
if you've never ridden a bullet train before, it's kind of fun to do it there in Japan. They've been doing it for so long that it, it seems just like a commonplace event, just traveling on a regular subway. But uh, hey, you're moving at 200 miles an hour. So I hope the video helped you a little bit. Appreciate you hanging in there. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now. Thank you.